everyone, um, it's me, Courtney, and from, I know I just started on YouTube and everything, but from what I've seen from my videos, it seems a lot of you like the goth lifestyle video. So, for that, I decided, you know, I should show some of you guys my goth goodies that I love and I've had for either a long, long, long time, or I've recently got them. So, um, first I'm going to start off with, let's see, um, I kind it's kind of new, but I'm so happy I got it. It's a coffin purse. Yes, a coffin purse. Every girl's goth dream. A coffin purse. So happy. I finally got one. I'm like, oh my god, I finally found one. And yes, it opens up. I can't really tell it. But, um... Uh... Yeah, there's a chain. You can, like, wear it on your shoulder. That... This is one of my favorite purses I have. I'm so happy I finally found the cop. Um... No, not yet. Uh... A coffin purse. Then, um, this is only one out of the bunch of dolls I have, not just of this collection, but my Beetlejuice doll. I love it. It's a living dead doll edition of my Beetlejuice doll, which I'm happy about. And, um, unfortunately, I don't have a Lydia doll, because I went to go get her the next time I went inside the store. Which I think, sh I think I actually got this at Hot Topic. I don't remember. Or either Spencer's Gifts at the mall. Which I, I hardly go to the mall. But like when I went to go get it, she wasn't there. But um, this is one of the many living dead dolls I have. Along with my begoth dolls. And a few other dolls. I really like, you know, odd, not normal looking dolls. They're interesting. I have a bunch. And you can't really see them. But they're like way like on the side over here. But, um, my, since we were talking about dolls, um, this is my BJ, one of my BJD dolls, and she's very, very pretty. I don't know, like, her actual, like, name, name, but, um, I named, I renamed her to, uh, Luna, because I think that's a pretty name. And she's very Victorian goth, and she has a hat, but it's back over there where I keep her, along with another BJD doll, which I own, but, um, I don't feel like showing her, because she's, like, in the, it's a lot of work to get her out. So, um, let's see what else. Then, I mean, this isn't really a doll, and I know it's not really goth, but, um, uh, I love anime and manga and everything, so this is my L plushie. I recently got him when I went on a trip, and um, he's a, I tied a little black ribbon to him because I thought it looked cute, and he's so plushy. But um, yeah, sorry, a little geeky moment I have. But uh, do, do, do. what's next? Um, I know this isn't a doll, but um, where I live. And I don't know if any of you guys have, whoever watches this, but it's called the Renaissance Festival. And, um, I actually have now three of these, and this is, like, the third one I've got. But, um, see, it's, like, a baby dragon. I bought it, a little hat with it. And it goes, like, kind of in your shirt, and it, like, sits right here. But it's really cool because, um, like, you can make it move its head and... Stuff like that, or like nod and look up and down and stuff. And um, I named him Captain Fluff Fluff because he ju it just fits him. And yes, the he. But um, he's really fuzzy and I like him. I have a bat and a dragon, but I don't feel like getting them out. But if you guys want to see him, I will show you maybe in another video if you guys want to. Then um, let's see what else do we have. Aha! Uh -huh. I recently actually got 
um, this jar. But again, also, so I know my camera tends to blur, blah blah blah. Don't complain. Thank you. Uh, my Deadly Nightshade jar from Never Before Christmas. And shame on you if you don't know who that and what this. Meh. Just shame on you if you don't know who this movie is. No, it's okay, but, um. And it has Sally on the side. And also, for all these, um, things I own, uh, I'm sorry. I, like, some of them I got at fair, some of them I just got. Sorry, that was my phone. But, um. You know, I just got them at different places, and I don't necessarily remember where everything I got. So, um. If you want, I could try and comment back and, like, answer your question if you have any of, like, ooh, I want to buy it, or, hey, would you get this? I will answer it. Then, um, I also got my two, like, first official, like, collars were in New York in a store called, I think, if I'm correct, Gothic Renaissance. If you live in New York and you know that store and I'm not saying it right, please tell me so I can give the store credit. But this is a spike collar I got. It's very, very good quality. I've had this for like a couple years now and I still wear it and it's very nice. I love it. And I got another collar except it's not spikes. I wear this one a lot more, um, but it has like red gems on it. Very, very nice and the quality is great as well. Then recently I got is this really, really, really cute bat necklace at that store. And it's really, really cute and I love it. It's so cute. And, um, ah, let's see what else. But, um, also I have some, like, do-it-yourself stuff I did, which was, um, I don't have it with me, but I took some a pair of black pants I had. Here, let me adjust. Ooh. There we go. But, um, I took an old tank top. Since I don't really wear a color, I usually just wear black and a lot of accessories and stuff like that. But, um, I took a red tank and I, like, added, you know, lace to it. And, um, just, like, a couple different things. Like, a bat, that, like, checkered piece, the plaid. And, like, it's still very comfortable where I kind of like how it's, like, not even. And, um, uh, that was something I made. The other one, I took a pair, of, like I said, I took a pair of black pants and I had, I just, like, put red pool stitching in it. It looked like someone, like, stitched up the pants handmade. It was really, really cool. But I don't have them with me. But sorry about that. Then, um, let's get into some makeup. Because every goth girl needs some. Well, maybe not every, but... You get the point. And, um, I actually have kind of, and I know in the lighting, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually have really, really pale skin, naturally. But, um, like, if I really want, like, porcelain-looking, like, pale skin, I use Stargazers. Um, compact thing. You, like, open it up, and it's just, like, hang on. It's, like, you know, a little powder thing. Just see how the camera. But um yeah. And um I also got it's a I got it at a store that's here in, in Michigan that I love. It's called Nora uh, sorry if I pronounce it wrong. Um Nor Leather. And um I got some cool stuff for belated birthday gift that I shop with the person and they got me and stuff. It's of course black lipstick. It's very good. It's by Manic Panic. Um, this is what it looks like. Very good. Um, then I got some eyeshadow. Um, I got, they're all by Manic Panic. They have really good stuff. Uh, well, to me, I think they do. I got like this purple. I know it looks kind of blue, but it's like a bluish purple. It's really pretty. I recently used it and it looks really, really pretty. You got like a sparkly black. There we go. Then I got this real, really cool red. 
I know it may look pink, but it's actually red, and it's like really, like, kind of, I don't know how to explain, but it's a pretty color, and I love it. Then, um, I recently, actually, I'm, I'm going to be wearing this dress, because I've been forced to go, to, um, Homecoming, and it's by, um, Hell Bunny, and, um, hang on, let me get it, because I'm... It's like a pinup, uh, gothic dress that I really think is cute, and I hardly wear dresses, ever. But, um, come on, camera, adjust. Adjust. But, um, you know, it kind of looks like this. And since I'm a bit, you know, of the heavier side, or the plus side of a girl, adjust, camera. The, you know, it's polka dot, and, um, you know, it kind of, it's very comfy, and you tie, and there's, like, a bow in the front, and, um, oh, if you're wondering, this is, uh, come on, camera, adjust, but, um, this is, I'm wearing a, sorry, I'm kind of wearing a corset under here, but, um, this jacket I've had for a while, um, I got, uh, I think the Pyramid Collection, I got it. It's like, um, a rave punk kind of, like, um, jacket. And I had, the reason I have duct tape over it, I don't know if you can see it, but it's because I wore this to school and we didn't realize it had the F word all over it. But, um, it's very nice, you know, very stretchy, very loose, like, um, I kind of get warm easily because I always, like, wear a tank top with, like, either a corset or something else, and then I always, because, um, this is, hang on, I'm wearing, I always wear tank tops, but, um, this is, it, I know it's not a professional one, uh, sorry, it, it's kind of a flexible, but comfy, still feels like, you know, what I do, of course it would, but, um, yeah, but, um, um, I think that's it for this video. I know it's kind of long, but, um, that's a few things I own. And, um, oh, and, uh, someone asked me where I got this coffin necklace. And I actually got it with, um, uh, sorry, my computer fell asleep. But, um, I actually got this one right here. It's really old. I've had it for, like, ever. And I also got a Nora Leather for a birthday present that I shopped with. Um, well, okay, I shopped with the person, and I got it. And I've had it forever. I think it's really, really cute, and I love it so much. And I'm trying to find another one like it, but since I bought it, I haven't. But, um, okay, I think that's it for now. So if you have any questions... Please comment below or inbox me or something like that. And also, um, I give all credit to the people that made the objects, the companies, you know. I didn't make any of it except, you know, the tank top that I, like, kind of, like, DIY um, with. I kind of just, you know, made it myself. But other than that, everything, you know, belongs to the company. I did not make anything else other than what I told you. And, um, I think that's it. So hopefully you guys enjoy, because these are one of my favorite, favorite ones, um, of my gothic goodies that I love. So, um, bye everyone.